Hey guys, my name is Kevin Lakin. Some of you guys may know from Delta RC Raceway and Hobbies in Enya, California. And today I'm going to unbox my newest build, which is the Traxxas TRX Sport Unassembled Kit. Alright, and I bought all of this from Delta RC, my local hobby shop. It's always best to support your local hobby shop uh, just to support them. And sometimes the prices may even be cheaper just depending on your hobby shop all right so as we get into the box why I chose this model and kit is you get to build it build the full-on kit and also you can pick out your electronics I always love picking out my my own electronics just come from a racer background we love like kind of choosing what we want what's good what we kind of like and then also this kit Includes seventy-five dollars worth of accessories like a roof rack and a couple different things like jerry cans. Also, to me, it looks to be the best value for best bang for your buck kind of thing, uh, in my opinion. For being my first rock crawler, in that in that case. Also, Trax has kind of invented the RTR Raider Run. Uh, kits out of the box, and so this will be my first Traxxas build kit. All right. Very excited to see what Traxxas is uh, implementing in their kits because I built like race car kits, TLR associated, and uh, I know that they really work hard at making their stuff try to be the best because they are a racing team. But I really want to see what Traxxas has to offer because I used to race Traxxas uh, back in the day. Alright, so let's get into it. So here's what the box looks like. Got a couple pictures. So this kit does not include any of the electronics. Your radio system, your motor, ESC, um, your servo, your battery and charger, or any of like, the tools or glue that are needed for assembling the kit. Uh, one key factor that the T-Rex 4 family loves to um, implement is the portal axles so in like a regular crawler the straight with the straight axle you have to get a bigger tire just to get up to the clearance of the Traxxas with the portal axle the same small tire so that's a big plus here's the back of the box some of the uh, key features they like to implement some things that they come with like the expedition rack uh, their real nice Canyon 1.9 tires the aluminum GTS shocks which are like the best shocks on the market for the crawling, uh, for the crawler people. Also, you have the scale bumpers and like the scale grills and the light buckets, so you can add LED lights in the future. That's always a thing I like doing. It's kind of decorating and scaling. Um, I'm assuming what everyone else likes doing. All right, and here's like some of the $75 uh, accessory value you get, like shovels, axes, uh, the light buckets, as we talked about, the I guess traction boards and so some of the other little things, high lift jack, and fuel cans. But let's get into it. I'm really excited to see what we, what we got in here. All right. All right. So first thing up in the box is you got the tires, and uh, let's check those out real quick. How we like those. One thing I really like about the Traxxas Sport tires and rims combination is uh, I like the rim a lot. It's kind of like a five-star rim, kind of like an old, uh, I guess, like muscle car or like a, like a Mustang would have with the five-star. It's kind of like a sportier look, as in the name uh, TRX4 Sport. Uh, the tires are pretty good. I heard a lot of good things about these tires. The rubber is really nice. It's a little sticky, and it's kind of got that where it's like uh, thinner and it really grabs to the rocks. So that's a big plus. I'm really looking forward to use those. All right. Here it looks like to be the accessories. So it um, does not come assembled, but you have like the roof rack in here and just some of the different pla plastics. Here's like the size of the, um, the, like, the matrix boards and everything. It's like some fire extinguishers, just some different stuff in there. And that comes in one bag. And it looks like how they're organizing it is T-Rex 4 mounting bag. Okay, 
So some of my kids, they they say like bag A, bag B. So we'll see how the future did that. Here's the body. So one big thing about the T-Rex Sport Sport line is the body. It's not a licensed body like a Bronco or anything. It's kind of just a generic, kind of like a Tacoma body. I don't mind that that much. This is just for crawling. I could buy a separate body if I really wanted a scale look. One thing I love about this body is it's pre-cut. I hate cutting out bodies and everything is cut out. Where the holes for the to mount it, the light buckets for the grill, and the whole wheel wells and everything. I love that that's all uh, cut out. So big thing, the tracks is on that. Love that. All right. There's uh, the axles, portal axles, one other bags. Here's the drive line bag, all your drive lines. And here it looks to be the chassis plastic bag, kind of chassis, as we saw on top of the box. Uh, just some more electronics bag, kind of like the, uh, where you put the battery tray and the receiver box. The transmission bag. And then here's the chassis. This is that uh, feels pretty heavy. The size looks pretty good. They also have the Traxxas name on there, which is kind of cool. Kind of gives you like a stamp look. Say so just some generic cars. There's another front axle bag. Here's like a little toolkit. That's actually pretty cool. That's something that the old kits used to do. Is my dad used to tell me how like the old RC tens came with like a little toolkit like this, and uh, I remember him telling me like how they spent all night trying to put it together with these little Allen wrenches. I mean, they don't really work, but it's something they give you, and so that's kind of nice. That's kind of like a throwback to uh, the old way of RCing. All right, so here's the shocks that are real well known for. So, looks like the shocks are pre-built. Uh, look, everything's already inside them. That's not too hard. So it looks like all you gotta do is put the springs and fill them up with oil. That's pretty nice. Then the T-Rex Sport spool bag. So just a spool and your your deep, your uh, diffs. Oh wow, this is something I really love. So all my race cars, they come with all the links and the rod ends. But you gotta put them on there. Not that it's a big deal, but it's a pain and it takes a long time to get all those done. And these are already put together for you. And this is like a lot, so you almost do a lot. But Traxxas pre did that for you, so that's a real nice thing. Thank you, Traxxas. The manual, that's what puts, puts the car together and determines if it's an easy kit or one of the hardest kits in your life. So I wanna take a look at that real quick. guessing it is colored, but I'm not too sure. It doesn't really matter uh, or affect the build. All right, so that's pretty nice. It's like a, it's like a magazine, real casual, kind of nice and smooth. Not too glossy, like uh, like cheaper material, material that's real glossy, but it's real nice. It has the truck right on there. All right, so let's look at this real quick. And it is colored, it is colored in the manual. And so I love that it's colored. Uh, kind of introduces it to like new RCS, I guess, because they want something more colored. They don't exactly know what they're looking at, in my opinion. So this is actually a really good way to get into it with building your kits. Um, this is actually a lot of detail in here. This is actually a really nice job done by Traxxas. Really like that. And it's not real glossy, glossy like some of the other manuals I may have had. Um, but it's also not real paper thin. It's not too like matte where oil or like a little drop of oil or something will sink in to the paper and kind of damage it. It would actually just kind of stay on top until you wipe it off and leave a little mark, but that's not as bad as being in the paper. So that looks real nice. Let's flip through a little bit. Looks pretty good. It got some, that looks real nice. It's super clean. It's super clean. It doesn't have a whole lot of like different languages in there. It looks super nice. It gives you arrows, how to push it in. That's real nice. This is Wow. I actually really like this. This is really good. The, well done by Traxxas. And then it shows you how you put your electronics in there. And it shows you their electronics, the Traxxas electronics. So it recommends doing the Traxxas stuff. But you can always do whatever you want to do. Let's see, maybe in the end, if there's like a Easter egg or something. No, but 
they show you how to glue the tires. That's really cool. I never had a manual do that. Uh, that's really nice. I'll show you how to play everything on the body. Perfect. They got a note shape, no, note page. Cool. So that is the whole kit. Explain. Let's see what else we got. There's also a sticker sheet. Let's show other stuff. Decals. Just a little different stuff. This is actually for the outside of the edge of the um, where the wheels go under. Right under here for the fender. That's cool. So you can just paint this one color and still have like a two tone. That's actually really cool because you know a lot of times kids don't do that. They don't give you it to make it look like the box. You know, so that's really nice. The Trax is doing a really good job with their kit. Um, this is actually out of the ball, it's on the ballpark. So that's really good. Get some Traxxas decals as well. So that looks really good. So I'm done with all. I'm done with the kit. Let's get on to the electronics I'm putting in. All right. So. Motor and ESC, one of the biggest questions. Do you go brushed or brushless? I'm going to go with brushed, not only because it's, it's a little bit cheaper, but it's also, you know, kind of more of a, people that really recommend going brushed. This is actually my first vehicle with the brush system. So I'm going to, kind of excited to see what that is uh, going to feel like. So my motor I'm going to go with is the recommended motor by Traxxas, the Titan 21 turn 550 motor. Really good motor. Uh, this is actually what a lot of people recommend. Just to go beginning with. So that sounds really good. Uh, my ESC is not in. I'm going to get a 1080 by Hobbywing. Really, here's a picture of that. Of it. And then here's some of the specs on it. But for now, I'm just going to use uh, one of the guys at Delta RC. One of my buddies, Chino. He let me borrow one of his ESCs from Traxxas. Zora has Deans or anything. So... I'm just going to do that for the review part. So we're going with that for just for now. But I'm going to go with the Hobbywing 1080. One reason it has a built-in BEC. It's all, it's like reddish-orange color. And it comes with a programming box. Pretty simple. It's very economical as well. Servo. So servo is a big question with crawlers because you can buy a real cheap servo and it just goes out on you. Or you can buy a real high-end one that costs over, you know, $160. So... I went with the new line that Delta RC is carrying, an Echo Power. Uh, very economical. And I just at 6 volts, it's going to push out 280 ounces of torque. Really good for a servo. Uh, usually I go with like Savox servos, the high-end stuff for my race cars. But I want to try out something new because I'm always kind of bored buying other, um, just buying the same brand over and over because I know it's good. And, but I want to give this a try. This is actually getting a really good review or rating on on A Main Hobbies. So this is really good. So it's just a basic servo, square, and all black. Uh, not too pretty, but looks all right. It's not gonna really see it under the under the car the whole time. So you get that. You also get some little hardware accessories, whatever. So yeah, that looks really good. Servo looks good. Now the battery I went on. I know that crawlers are pretty efficient on um, batteries, and you can go about two hours with them, two three hours. Some people, some guys are getting. So I just went with like a basic five thousand from Gen Zace. Gen Zace is the battery is the way to go with batteries. I really love them because I let them sit, and for me they work out really good. I tend to just have real good luck with Gen Zace batteries. They never really go out on me, so they're really good, really good for the money. They're not too expensive. I only went with like a 2,000 or a 5,000 two cell hard case. And uh, just for more run times, because I'm going to be ca taking this camping and Boy Scout camping or long times a week or, you know, like a week, a week at a time. So I want to have something where I can just bring a bunch of batteries and enjoy uh, my crawler and camping. So here it is right here. Gen Zace. Um, these are actually really nice batteries. Hard case, what I recommend getting. Has a nice big balance port, so you don't have to push or tug on the wires to get this out. Uh, very like balance board. And I went with Dean's. And yeah, this is what I am going to be running in my crawler. So that's it, guys. Coming up is a review. We're gonna take this thing camping. 
I'm going camping at Bear River Lake Resort and uh, expect a new video on the review.